After I butcher a chicken, a quail, or one of these cute little potato birds, do I stick them into an ice bath to chill out? And should I refrigerate them for 24 hours after doing so? Yes and yes. And here's why. Well, let's walk through the butchering process, shall we? The first thing we're going to need is a giant butcher's knife. And the second thing, a little potato bird to demonstrate with. We don't like graphic nature today, so we're just going to use a little potato bird. Now we're all familiar with butchering, so I'm going to quickly dispatch potato birds and get them ready for the cooking. Sadly, this part of the bird is not going to be used. However, the meat is going to be used, and we are going to chill it in our ice bath. So what is the ice bath? Take your bowl, fill it with ice, add a little water, and you have an ice bath. And this is where you put your freshly butchered bird. Now, what is the reason we are icing this animal? As soon as that creature is dispatched, as soon as they die, they begin to deteriorate. They're going to go through the death process, which is not pretty. And what happens is microorganisms start coming alive and will start, um, yeah, they'll start decaying flesh. So a uh, good way to understand this is think about a hunter, right? They like to go hunting when? in the colder climates in the fall late fall winter not the late summer when it's hot because if they get an animal out in the woods that heat is going to encourage bacterial growth so they're going to get critters growing on that meat before they have a chance to even process it so we like to keep the things chill it's a chemical process biological process and these biological and chemical processes require warmth warmth and oxygen so the other component of the ice bath is it's anaerobic. We're not going to have air getting to the meat. It's going to be submerged. Now, after butchering your animals, whether it be a quail, a chicken, the bunny rabbits, that meat is going to go to the ice bath, particularly when you have a bunch of animals at once. If you're just doing one or two, you can rinse them off and stuff them in the fridge to chill. But the ice bath is going to warm up. The more bodies you put in there, the temperature is going to uh, to seek a state of equilibrium and they're going to become the same the water will be too warm so you're going to want to replace the ice in the water oh and the other thing that the ice water does too is leach out some of the lingering blood from the tissue so you'll notice the water getting you know a little pinkish from the blood coming now the kind of gross part as soon as the animal is killed just like any other uh, creature it's going to go into a state of rigor mortis you know they stiffen up they can't move right what's happening there rigor mortis well the tissue is breaking down right so there's enzymes being released in the muscle tissue breaking down the muscle fibers and that my friends is why we stuff them in the fridge for 24 to 36 hours is to allow that process to fully take place so that meat when you cook it will be more tender. If it's Thanksgiving Day, you're not going to go butcher a turkey on the same day and prepare it. You're going to do it a day or two ahead of time, right? And let it sit in the fridge so that tensing can release and the tissue and the flesh that you're going to be cooking becomes soft again and a little more tender when you're cooking it. So this stuff is fairly simple and the reason I'm doing this video is because I've had people ask and you know if, especially if you're new to the whole homesteading, farming, hobby farm, whatever you're doing, if you have animals and you're not butchering them before, you may be just wondering, curious, why? Why would you do that? Why are you putting it in the fridge? Why can't I just cook it immediately? Well that's why, because you're going to have that tissue stiffen up, become tense and then it's going to release over time and you want it to go through that process. Now personally me, most of the time I don't um, put my quail, I raise a lot of quail, so I'm not going to do that process in the fridge because of the way I cook them. I pressure cook most of my quail and the pressure cooking just <laughs> like butter. <laughs> It'll make the meat very, very tender. But if I'm going to be grilling them, especially, I'm going to want to put the things through a 24 to 36 hour um, chilling process, at least in the fridge. I know the uh, we butchered these little guys here. So, but these aren't real birds, but if you want to see real butchering of quail, I'll put, leave a link in the description of this here video down at the bottom. Uh, I did do a butchering video to walk you through that. So it is graphic, but uh, it's a very, very easy process. And um, we know a lot of people who are new to quail and it's kind of an intimidating thing. So I wanted to step, walk you through it step by step in a real simple manner. So check that out. If you haven't done so, we're a new channel, so visit, uh, like, and subscribe, right? Is that what they say? Like and subscribe? Sure, like the video and subscribe if you don't mind. 
If you have any ideas for content you'd like to see, let me know and we'd be happy to address that. In fact, that's what this video was. Somebody mentioned it and I said, you know what? That's a great idea. I've always wanted that before I did this and I will tell you. So thanks for watching. See you on the next one.